When I told Ellen John sincerely that I have a four-year-old granddaughter who knows what she wants and how to get it, she said, that's the spirit. It's a spirit that has characterized the remarkable life of the 83-year-old Liberian, the first democratically elected woman president in Africa and one. Known as Africa's Iron Lady, she was honored for her work to secure women's rights and to give women seats at the table in peace building after her country's civil war. Sirleaf's new mission is to bring attention to the fight against malaria. She is in Washington, D.C. today, the officially designated World Malaria Day, to meet with you, as senators and others in an effort to gain support for anti-malaria efforts. Her visit comes at a critical time. There were 241 million cases of malaria in 2020, the most recent year for which data are available, up from 227 million cases the year before. Deaths increased, too. The pandemic shoulders much of the blame for hindering access to health care. The interview has been edited for length. What gives you the impetus to stay in the public arena? When you're on a working trail for a long time, it's hard to stop. And your motivation is to achieve certain improvements, and one of them has to do with my own country and my own continent, to continue to work for the development of Africa. Do you have personal experience with malaria? In my childhood, somewhere between the ages of 10 and 15, I had a case of malaria. Do you remember how you felt? Oh, your body weakens, you don't sleep well, you don't eat well. You were lucky and survived. I've had friends die from that. And malaria still persists. Malaria has existed for so long and affects Africa more than any other infectious disease. Because of COVID-19 the focus on malaria has weakened, and progress addressing malaria has also weakened. Do you feel as if the world does not pay as much attention to malaria because it is a problem in lower resource countries? Yes, I do. Health and sanitation facilities are not strong in these countries. That contributes to the growth of mosquitoes. There's lots of response to that but the response is not equal to the threat. Does it make you angry that malaria seems a forgotten disease? It makes me concerned and makes me stronger in fight. Where did you get your spirit of fight? I had a mother who was strong. Our father, became, ill while we were children. She had to carry the burden. She fed the family, she took care of him, she made sure we got an education. That's the kind of strength that makes a difference.